It was a bright Saturday afternoon in the bustling downtown area of Centerville. Bailey, a free-spirited teenager with waist-length hot pink hair, was eagerly wandering the busy streets with her best friend Jade, chatting and popping in and out of the various shops lining the sidewalks. After a few hours of leisurely exploring, Jade suddenly stopped in her tracks. Ooh, there's a salon, she exclaimed, pointing to a trendy hair salon across the street. I've been meaning to get my hair trimmed. Bailey nodded agreeably and followed Jade inside. As soon as they entered the salon, a stylist with a name tag reading Amanda approached them. Welcome, who's getting a cut today? She asked cheerfully. Jade spoke up right away. I am, I called earlier to make an appointment. Wonderful, follow me this way, Amanda said, guiding Jade to a swivel chair in front of a large mirror. Jade settled into the padded seat as Amanda swept her long brown hair out from beneath the black nylon cutting cape and fastened it snugly around her neck. How much length were you thinking of taking off? Amanda asked, gathering Jade's hair in her hands and assessing the ends. Jade twisted her neck to look at the stylist. Just a trim, maybe half an inch. I just want the splits cleaned up. Amanda nodded, spritzing Jade's hair with water and combing through it. She then took a comb and razor and began slicing off small sections, the chestnut waves falling to the tile floor. Bailey lingered behind Jade, figuring she would just watch her friend get her trim and keep her company. She leaned against the wall near the waiting area chairs, not planning to get her long pink haircut that day. But then, a stylist named Tina with a short bleached pixie cut, came up to Bailey. Hey, I just had a cancellation, so I have an open chair. Come on over and I'll take you too, she said brightly. Before Bailey could protest that she didn't want a haircut, Tina grabbed her hand and pulled her to the empty styling station. Bailey reluctantly sat in the hydraulic chair, feeling uneasy. Tina pumped the chair up higher and fastened a black nylon cape around Bailey's neck. So what are we doing today? Tina asked cheerfully as she combed through Bailey's waist-length pink strands. Bailey hesitated, but before she could respond, Tina grabbed a powerful set of buzz clippers. Bailey's eyes widened in shock as Tina brought the clippers to the back of her head and began roughly shaving off a wide strip of hair. Bailey sat paralyzed, watching huge piles of her vibrant pink tresses fall to the floor. The buzzing clippers felt harsh and invasive on her scalp. Tina continued quickly chopping off all of Bailey's hair in large patches, ignoring Bailey's stunned silence. Finally finding her voice, Bailey stammered, Stop! Please! I didn't want... But it was too late. Her once flowing locks were now reduced to a few uneven tufts. Tina stepped back and smiled, oblivious to Bailey's anguish. There, a nice short buzz cut really suits you. She spun Bailey's chair around to face the mirror. Bailey could only gape in horror at the aggressively sheared pixie cut. She blinked back tears, utterly shocked by what had just happened. This was not at all how she had envisioned her salon visit going. Just moments before, she had been sitting paralyzed in shock as she watched huge handfuls of her long, vibrant pink hair drop to the floor. Tears had welled up in her eyes as the buzzing clippers ruthlessly sheared through her waist-length locks. In her stunned state, Bailey had glanced over at her friend Jade, who was getting a simple trim in the next chair. To Bailey's dismay, Jade had a hint of a satisfied smirk on her face as she watched the stylist butcher Bailey's hair. With dawning horror, Bailey realized suddenly that this had all been a setup. Jade must have planned this ambush, knowing Bailey would just innocently accompany her to the salon. Bailey felt betrayed and violated. Jade met Bailey's gaze briefly and her smirk widened. Bailey felt like she was going to be sick. How could her supposed best friend do this to her? Utterly humiliated with an uneven, choppy line shaved crudely up the back of her head, Bailey leapt up and rushed out of the salon, ignoring the stares and snickers of other customers. Specifically, Bailey stood abruptly, her chair spinning around from the sudden movement. 
The tattered remnants of her once flowing pink locks tumbled down from beneath the salon cape, scattering across the tile floor around her feet. Bailey grabbed the plastic fastener at the nape of her neck and ripped the cape off in one motion, not caring that hair trimmings were flying everywhere. The cape floated down to join the pile of fallen hair surrounding the chair. With trembling hands, Bailey raked her fingers over the choppy fuzz covering her shorn head. She could feel a wide strip of longer hair left at the top, contrasting with the buzzed underlayer. Tears spilled down Bailey's cheeks as she rushed toward the exit, keeping her head down to avoid meeting the eyes of other stylists and waiting customers. She heard whispered remarks and stifled laughs, noticing people staring at her uneven, hacked-away hair. Reaching the glass door, Bailey shoved it open aggressively, the bells jangling loudly. She stepped out into the busy sidewalk, the door swinging closed behind her. Bailey had never felt so violated and distraught. Overcome with emotion, Bailey brought her hands to her face and began openly weeping, not caring that passersby were giving her puzzled looks. Tears streamed down her cheeks as she tilted her head back and let out an anguished, guttural scream. Bailey's small body shook with sobs. She crouched down, hugging her knees to her chest right there on the sidewalk. Her cries were raw and visceral, coming from deep inside. It was as if she was releasing all the shock, grief, and rage over her lost locks. Pedestrians swerved around Bailey's hunched form, some glancing back with concern. But Bailey was oblivious to it all, trapped in her own private hell. She rocked back and forth, keening and whimpering softly. After a few minutes, Bailey's cries quieted to occasional hiccuping sobs. With quivering breaths, she staggered to her feet, leaning against the salon window for support. All Bailey could focus on was getting home immediately. She had to get out of public view and try to process what had just happened. Wiping her swollen, bleary eyes, Bailey oriented herself and hurried off down the street, moving as quickly as she could on unsteady legs. The image of her hacked-off hair haunted her all the way home. Still quietly sniffling, Bailey zigzagged around groups of chatting pedestrians, keeping her head down to avoid meeting anyone's gaze. She felt utterly exposed and vulnerable with her mismatched buzz cut. As she waited at a crosswalk for the signal to change, Bailey pulled up her hood and tucked her short hair inside, hoping to avoid more unwanted attention. The light turned green and Bailey scurried across the street. Approaching the bus stop, Bailey frantically dug through her purse for spare change. Finding enough coins, she fed the fare machine and boarded the next bus, collapsing into an empty seat near the back. During the bumpy ride, Bailey stared straight ahead, unconsciously running her hand over her shorn hair. A few other passengers glanced her way curiously, but she ignored them. Reaching her stop, Bailey hurried off the bus and power walked the few blocks to her house. Fumbling with her keys at the front door, she finally got inside the safety of her home. Bailey leaned back against the closed door, letting out a long, shuddering breath. The nightmare at the salon was over, but the damage was done. Now she had to figure out what to do next about her chopped, uneven hair. Several agonizing hours passed as Bailey cried and stared despairingly at her reflection. Finally, she realized the only option was to shave her whole head to even out the botched cut. Bailey opened the bathroom cabinet and pulled out her old electric clippers. She stared at them for a moment, realizing there was no going back after this. With a deep breath, she plugged them in and flicked the switch, the buzzing sounding unusually loud in the quiet house. Bailey slowly brought the vibrating clippers to the nape of her neck. Closing her eyes, she began dragging them upwards over her scalp in smooth, even strokes. Pink strands rained down as the clippers erased what remained of her waist-length locks. Again and again, Bailey sheared the clippers over every area of her head from different angles. She watched pieces of hair drift down and gather around her feet on the tile floor. 
Once satisfied it was uniformly buzzed, Bailey ran her hand over her smooth, stubbly head, tears pricking her eyes. She already missed her flowing mane. Looking in the mirror, though, Bailey admitted the edgy buzz cut actually suited her. She tilted her head side to side, growing accustomed to this severe yet liberating new look. After putting the clippers away, Bailey wandered to the kitchen to make herself dinner, realizing she hadn't eaten since that morning. She prepared a simple meal and ate slowly, still processing the day's traumatic events. Around 9 p.m., Bailey took a long, hot shower, gently massaging her sensitive shorn scalp. The water soothed away some of the tension in her muscles. Drying off, she ran her palm over her smooth head once more before donning pajamas. Bailey was both physically and emotionally exhausted from everything that had happened. She crawled into bed, but laid awake for hours, replaying the salon nightmare over and over. Anger and hurt simmered inside her. Finally, around 3 a.m., sheer exhaustion took over, and Bailey fell into a fitful sleep. But even in her dreams, she could feel the absence of her sheared locks. Morning came after a restless night. As sunlight filtered into her room, Bailey reluctantly got up and looked at her reflection. She traced a finger along the fuzz covering her scalp. Though still getting used to her buzz cut, Bailey felt a new sense of resilience seeing her shorn head in the mirror. She was ready to start a new chapter. But first, she needed closure from her backstabbing friend, Jade, who had clearly set Bailey up at the salon. Fueled by anger, Bailey started plotting her revenge. The next day, Bailey sent Jade a text inviting her over for a home-cooked dinner that evening. She pretended like all was forgiven between them. Jade quickly accepted the invitation, unaware of Bailey's true motivations. Around 6 p.m., Jade arrived, and Bailey greeted her with a friendly hug, hiding her rage. During dinner, Bailey made pleasant small talk, asking about Jade's classes and interests. Jade chattered on happily, seeming to relax. After eating dinner, Bailey and Jade settled on the couch to watch a movie together. Around 9 p.m., Jade complained that she was tired and laid down to take a nap. Bailey pretended to also be sleepy and said she was going to clean up the dishes. She waited until she heard Jade's breathing become slow and steady as she fell into a deep sleep. Retrieving her clippers from the bathroom, Bailey crept silently back to the living room. She stood over Jade's sleeping form, observing her former friend looking peaceful and vulnerable. With trembling, anticipatory hands, Bailey turned on the buzzing clippers. Ever so gently, she brought them to Jade's forehead and began shearing off her dark locks. Bailey gradually moved the clippers across Jade's head in smooth passes, watching years' worth of hair cascade onto the floor around the couch. She felt a thrill of vengeance. Being careful not to wake Jade, Bailey gently tilted her sleeping head this way and that to access every area with the buzzing clippers. Within minutes, Jade's scalp was completely exposed and stubble short. But Bailey wasn't done yet. She wanted to make sure Jade's head was smooth and hairless. Going to the bathroom, she retrieved some shaving cream and a disposable razor. Bailey squirted a generous dollop of foamy shaving cream directly onto Jade's shorn scalp. Using her fingers, she massaged the lather over every inch of bare skin. With a razor in hand, Bailey slowly dragged it across Jade's lathered head, scraping away the last remnant hairs. She took long, smooth strokes, rinsing the razor in a bowl of water. Repeatedly, Bailey glided the razor over Jade's head at all angles, leaving behind nothing but gleaming, cream-coated skin. She carefully shaved around Jade's ears and nape of her neck. Using a damp washcloth, Bailey wiped away all the excess shaving cream residue. Jade's scalp now shone like polished marble, not a single hair follicle left behind. Bailey ran her palm over Jade's billiard ball bald head, relishing her flawless handiwork. Her revenge was now complete thanks to this added touch. She left Jade sleeping soundly on the couch, her scalp completely denuded and gleaming. 
Bailey could only imagine Jade's reaction later when she inevitably woke up chrome-domed and hairless. In the meantime, Bailey cleaned up all evidence of her revenge act. She swept up the piles of Jade's shorn locks and disposed of the razor and shaving cream. It was getting late, so Bailey got ready for bed herself, but she was too wired to sleep. Around midnight, she heard Jade start stirring awake. Bailey stayed hidden, listening as Jade presumably discovered her bald head. A blood-curdling scream pierced the silence, followed by hysterical sobbing. My hair, it's gone, what have you done to me? Jade wailed at the top of her lungs. Bailey had to stifle her giggles. Still crying and disoriented, Jade rushed out the front door and into the night. From the window, Bailey watched her former friend run off in shock down the street. Satisfied with getting her long-awaited revenge, Bailey finally felt she could move on from their toxic friendship. She went to sleep peacefully, leaving Jade to her bald fate. The next morning, Bailey was eating breakfast when she heard furious pounding at her front door. She opened it to find a red-faced Jade standing on the porch, head covered by a scarf. You backstabbing witch! Jade shouted as she barged into the house uninvited. She ripped off the scarf, revealing her bare scalp that Bailey had shaved. I thought you were my friend! How could you do this? Jade screamed at Bailey, who stood calmly unfazed. Jade hurled profanities at her, calling her every vulgar name imaginable. Bailey rolled her eyes. This was your payback for setting me up. Now we're even, she replied icily. I'll never forgive you for this humiliation, Jade cried out, touching her smooth pate. She accused Bailey of plotting to destroy her hair all along. Unapologetic, Bailey crossed her arms. Don't pretend you didn't have this coming after what you did to me. Unable to articulate a response, Jade sputtered incoherently in rage. Finally, she stormed out the door, cursing Bailey out one last time. Locking the door securely, Bailey carried on with her mourning, finally free from Jade's toxicity. The bald look suited her toxic ex-friend anyway. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the story I shared. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Your feedback means a lot, so don't be shy. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It really helps the channel grow so I can keep making more videos for you all. Also, share this with your friends and family if you think they'd find it interesting too. Spreading the word is such a big help. Let me know in the comments what kind of stories you want to hear in future videos. I'm open to suggestions, so if there's a topic you want covered or a story you want me to tell, just say the word. You all are the best, and I appreciate you watching. Can't wait to see you in the next video soon. Stay tuned.